everyone, it's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing another review. Today I'll be reviewing S.A. Monster Arts Godzilla 2000 Millennium. This version of Godzilla is actually based on an unused Godzilla concept created by sculptor Yuji Sakai. This unused concept has a more fearsome and more monstrous look as compared to the finalized suit design also known as Mirai Goji. This concept sculpt has become a fan favorite and has also been used in some very popular vinyl kits. Even though you will not see this suit design concept, you will still see an absolutely fantastic revitalization of Godzilla with the Mirai Goji design in the 1999 film Godzilla 2000 Millennium. Be sure to check out Godzilla 2000 Millennium, it is simply fantastic. S.A. Monster Arts Godzilla 2000 Millennium is another fantastic release in the S.A. Monster Arts line. Godzilla 2000 has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic panel applications, and a fantastic range of articulation. First, let's take a look at the box. For the box, you'll notice we have the new design layout similar to our Kiri release. First, you'll notice we have this very cool slash effect that continues throughout the entirety of the box. On the front of the box, we have a very nice large image of Godzilla 2000. Then we have S.A. Monster Arts Godzilla 2000 Millennium. We have our Toho icon, our company logos, and also this very cool slash effect. On the right hand side, we have the slash effect continued. Then we have S.A. Monster Arts Godzilla 2000 Millennium. On the opposite side, we have a very nice image of Godzilla 2000. And again, we have SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2000 Millennium, which is definitely very cool. On the bottom, we have our legal jargon. At the top, we have that slash effect continued. Then we have SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2000 Millennium. Then on the back here, we have our very nice promo photos here. These are absolutely fantastic and definitely very cool. Very nice photos indeed. Then we have some background info on our figure. And then also here, we have an image of who I assume is Yuji Sakai setting up our figure to be photographed. So it's absolutely fantastic there and definitely very cool. A very nice new box design style here. This is definitely very cool. Now that we have the box out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the Godzilla 2000 figure itself. Godzilla 2000 has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic panel applications, and a fantastic range of articulation. First, let's start with the head. We can look left, we can look right, we can look up, we can look extremely far down. The neck is very nicely segmented. We can open up the mouth here. Inside the mouth, the tongue is on the hinge so we can move it up and down. Nice range of rotation going on the arms here. Nice bend in the elbows. The hands are on ball joints so we can tilt spin these freely. In the upper chest, we can lean forwards, backwards, twist side to side, lean side to side. For the waist itself, we can twist side to side significantly. The legs have a very nice high kick. They can spread out very far. A nice bend in the knees. The feet can tilt and swivel. And finally, the tail has an absolutely fantastic range of articulation. Very smooth and extremely fluid. Definitely very cool. In terms of sculpted paint apps, this figure is simply stunning. This is spot on from Yuji Sakai's concept. Definitely very cool. Getting very close, as you can see. A very nicely detailed and very nicely textured figure here. Absolutely fantastic. We're getting very close here, so we'll focus all this. As you can see, this is simply stunning. We'll open up the mouth here. Nice detail for the mouth, teeth, tongue, and gums. Definitely very cool here for the chest. Very nicely textured, very nicely weathered here. And for the body, we have this charcoal paint app with patches of gray, like our Godzilla 1964 figures. It's very nicely done here. This figure is simply stunning. Nice detail going on for the claws here. We'll kind of focus all this. Very nicely done there. Very nice wide and huge feet. This is definitely very cool. This figure is simply stunning. We'll kind of keep this all in focus the best we can. Very nicely detailed there. Nice detail underneath the tail here. Very nicely done. And then for the best part here, the fins here are absolutely fantastic. So we have this charcoal paint app going into a metallic purple. Definitely very cool. Very sharp and very jagged here. And also these are asymmetrical, so they're different in every instance. I am truly impressed by this figure. It really is simply stunning. Very nicely done here. So, now that we have the Godzilla 2000 figure out of the way, let's do some size comparisons. For size comparison, we have Godzilla 94, Godzilla 95, and Godzilla 2000. All three figures look absolutely fantastic together. As you can see, our Godzilla 2000 figure is slightly taller than our previous version of Godzilla. Next, we'll grab our Godzilla 64, and then we'll also grab Kiryu here. So 64 is significantly shorter than our 2000 figure, and then finally Kiryu is taller than our Godzilla 2000 figure, which is pretty cool. Now that we have the size comparison out of the way, let's go ahead and conclude this review. To conclude the review, SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2000 Millennium is another fantastic release in the SH Monster Arts line. Godzilla 2000 has a fantastic sculpt, 
fantastic pay applications, and a fantastic range of articulation. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I absolutely recommend that everyone picks this figure up. Also, even though you will not see this suit design concept, be sure to check out the 1999 film Godzilla 2000 Millennium. It is simply fantastic. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe.